This is Mark Lowry and this is Tactical Tuesday. Looking today when you might decide to exploit the opposition in the wide areas. And there's a couple of moments when I think you can really take advantage of that area of the field, particularly if you've got a good player out here yourself that's good at dribbling, a good attacker, you might want to get the ball to him as much as possible. Also recognizing how the opposition defends. If they defend with a back four, and maybe their wide guy, their winger, doesn't like to run back and defend, there are lots of moments where you can create 2v1 situations around their fullback. Okay, If this guy doesn't want to come back and help, you can really exploit those moments. But as you're doing that, it's important to remember that on the other side, if we lose, we don't want him to hurt us. He might decide to stay out here, which gives us a great opportunity to score and create. But in doing that, he could also hurt us on a counter-attack. So as we're attacking, we'll also look at moving people over to make sure if the ball breaks out, this player can't hurt us. Another time to exploit teams in the wide area is if they might play with a back three, which a lot of teams do. A narrow three across here could leave space in these wide areas for you. So if you can put a guy out here and find a way to get the ball out there, he'll find himself with plenty of space where he can dribble and carry the ball into the box. And then it pulls their three apart a little bit more to create space centrally for runners to come through. However, if that team decides or is good at playing with more of a five, you might now want to decide to attack centrally because they now have that support in those areas. So with central play here, you can get people into these little seams and these gaps, still trying to stretch them through the middle, but then you can also penetrate inside if they have players that come back and defend here into a five.